Pharma Leaders 8th Annual Awards 2015. The 8th Annual Pharmaceutical Leadership Summit and Business Leadership Awards was held in Mumbai at Hotel Hilton, where more than 300 top leaders of the healthcare industry had gathered to be a part of this historic debate on Pharma Leaders 2015 Brand India winning. Hello and welcome to the 8th Annual Pharmaceutical Leadership Summit and Business Leadership Awards 2015. In the Glenmark Pharmaceuticals Limited, as Vice President in India, Asia and Africa. Many of you probably are not aware that Mr. Crystal Kumar, who is popularly known as KK, is also a cricket commentator and speaks extensively on cricket and he regularly writes columns in various newspapers and travels extensively worldwide. Welcome to the 8th Annual Pharmaceutical Leadership Summit and Pharma Leaders Business Leadership Awards 2015. <laughs> Innovation has always successfully addressed several emerging demands in various walks of life, more so in the pharmaceutical and healthcare industry. Pharma Leaders brought together the leaders under one platform. The Leadership Platform Summit in the afternoon session debated crucial topics such as healthcare, and challenges of India pharma industry. Enzymes are used for all many things, but what they are exactly? We know seresho peptidase, we know trypsin, we know pancreatin, and we use them for normal treatment. So what exactly these enzyme supplements are? So enzyme supplements are unique combination of enzyme to ensure broad spectrum via synergism. So when we use a monoenzyme formulation, it is basically for a treatment of particular site. But here, when we are talking about the systemic enzyme supplement, I can say SES, for specifically for a broader perspective, which can like flow throughout your body and give you the desired healing effect. Cosmetic surgery in the West was very, very aggressively marketed. Marketed saying, pretty much rightly saying, no side effects. There are actually no side effects of cosmetic surgery. There may be complications, there may be difficult problems, a bad scar, a bad he result, non-healing wound, not a good result. But there are no side effects that can kill you. Why does hair transplant work? To give you a little idea, just a minute or so. When anybody loses hair, you lose hair in the front and the middle. Nobody loses in the, in the back. The back hair are permanent. If I take hair from there and plant it anywhere, it will stay for life. And grow like normal hair, need haircuts, never fall, comb them, oil them, shampoo them, and they stay for the rest of your life. They are unlicensed workers who are working without supervision. You don't know who's doing what for you. And the rampant is there in the hair transplant industry. I'll give you a funny story. Some technicians have learned hair transplant, and they make a team. And they will go to a doctor. Sir, you catch a patient, you charge 50,000, give us 20,000, we'll do hair transplant, we don't do anything. So this quack or a doctor or an MBBS or whatever gets the patient, you are bald, I'll get you hair. Chalo bhaiya, we'll do a hair transplant, you pay so much. The team of quacks of technicians comes, do the hair transplant, go away. Such teams are rampant in Ludhiana, in Chandigarh, now it's in Bombay, in Pune, in Ahmedabad. This has to be stopped. India has arrived on planet Earth and healthcare and pharma sector of India is really at prime time. I think we, we are really growing. And I think it's something which we should be very proud of. I think the Make in India, Made in India brand is really surviving. I think up till now, I will just tell you an example of diabetes. We had the largest number of diabetes population in 2011. And we lost our first rank to China. And currently our aim of all our diabetes societies, in fact every diabetologist has his own society, okay, is to actually be the diabetes care capital of the world. Of course we have quite a few gaps that people talk about shortage of doctors, shortage of nurses. Let's be realistic. If tomorrow we're going to double the number of medical schools, double the number of PG seats, and so on and on, we are not going to fix this problem for the next 20 years. So it's, that's not the solution. The Hippocratic Oath contains the main things, and I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, primum non nocare. First, do not harm. This is the first principle taught to doctors and this is the first principle talked to us in medical ethics. Do not harm. Help, help, but do not harm. 
okay and this this we look at uh, to create and overcome the challenges and delights of creating a world class medical healthcare system so how does a medical student enter the medical college again a multiple choice questions he marks up 10 types of guides and there you have scoring 540 marks out of 540 and there will be hundreds of them majority of them got 100% simply because of the examination system so you mug up you mug up these multiple choice questions and you get 100 out of 100 the newspapers have these photos and in every state this is a routine every march april and may that means something seriously wrong with our basic education system we don't want to be regulated we don't want to be regimented if there is one solution we need our country needs is quality education and it be regimented the highlight of the seminar was a panel discussion on will innovations in india drive the next generation of global cosmetics dermatology trends where the country's top doctors and industry debated on the latest innovations in the cosmetic dermatology field the point that i want to make it here where in this pharma leaders platform where more than 300 pharmaceutical company owners healthcare leaders medical professionals who will be attending this conference will be debating on a topic which we kept it as a brand as pharma leaders 2015 brand india winning when i think of global i'm not thinking of just the us or europe there are so many other countries like south america west indies um almost the whole of africa and they're all looking up to india the field of cosmetic dermatology is so complex especially for me actually i'm fascinated with this actually because a lot of people want you know they want to look young and they want to look handsome a lot of things are happening spas are being attached to this cosmetic industry why the treatment process are different from one to another why there is not a universal practice nowadays the treatment is so much commercial and the commercial angle coming in with the spas and the big houses has really ruined the scene and at least indians the lawsuits are much are less are you of the just a, sorry, sorry to are you of the opinion that the spas and all the beauty centers that is being attached to the cosmetic industry should not be there they should be regulated i'm not saying they should not be there clinical establishment act the cea which i think is luckily going to be implemented at some point soon um which basically at the crux of it is that it's going to differentiate qualified mbbs dermatologists or any can, other yeah. faculty let's be lucky from, first okay, let's yes. be lucky first let the government do I it i agree the whole world looks up to us the kind of the number of patients that individually all of us treat or jointly together as an association it's very rare to have this kind of numbers anywhere in the globe uh, the quality of indian doctors is always considered superior in in the global standards today as we know more than 30% doctors uh, in uk or in uh, usa are of indian origin this is the profession which is emerging very fast whether you like it or not this is going to be the next uh, profession in india which will drive in healthcare innovations and this is moving very fast here's what the important dignitaries and delegates had to say about the event uh, this is the eighth annual edition of uh, pharma leaders super brands uh, which we call it as uh, something which is uh, as the oscars of the indian healthcare industry isme ye hota hai indian pharma companies mein jaise healthcare industry ko hum cover karte hain wahan pe koi cheezon ko hum aise dekhte hain jo ki neglect ho chuka hai so this is the area which we are focusing on it jaise uh, there are issues like healthcare insurance something related to uh, medical tourism something on healthcare innovations which is actually missing uh, link in the indian pharmaceutical industry the panel discussion was very enlightening bahut acha laga bahut jankari mili aur ye bhi laga ki i think the doctors need to really come up and uh, invest some time and energy in communicating the right message to people agar doctors aake aake aage aake logon ko batayenge ki sach kya hai kya kya treatments hai authentic treatments kya hai tabhi logon ko pata chalega so some effort and some time for the right communication is very important uh, today we are uh, focusing uh, in uh, in fact we have a discussion about skin care innovations in india how wide india market is growing in cosmetic dermatology and uh, um, how how far we are par on excellence with the global industries uh, when you compare to the indian industry
industry. And uh, today, uh, I'm glad that I'm also going to uh, receive the award for the cosmetic uh, dermatology as an innovative cosmetic dermatologist of India 2015. Um, thank you. This event uh, is actually a very interesting event. It's an event where specialities from multiple areas providing healthcare, pharma industry, and of course the hospital industry are involved. Hopefully, the take home message would be that we need to wake up if India has to stand up in the world stage as a number one country then we need to correct our education. We need to certainly correct our medical education. We are producing lots of doctors, but majority of them are mediocre. We need to produce world-class doctors. Uh, here, the uh, like uh, event, like basically uh, pharma leadership, uh, eight annual function and innovative awards function basically they are targeting the youth and uh, all the healthcare fraternity to uh, like uh, look at the healthcare preventive manners and then uh, in that way it is really good this event has been a till now has been a very wonderful event excellent gathering of speakers very well thought out presentations enriching ideas and at least i have been able to my mind is working over time now, thinking of all the things which is uh, information which is flowing. So I think it's a great thing. So I wish this event a great success. Right now this uh, event, which is Pharma Leaders 2015, I think it's a very good platform for all the doctors in the country to come and uh, present themselves. And also it creates a lot of awareness amongst public about the actuality or uh, entity of a doctor. Whatever myth has been created about doctors or whatever you know, negative things are going around about doctors, this platform can provide us a good uh, you know, place to undo that and uh, create, recreate a faith in the doctors. I think uh, this is a very, very, very good event. Uh, I think it was a good event today and uh, a lot of interaction where a lot of uh, positives came out uh, across several facets of uh, pharma industry across several facets of medical practice and I think a lot of, uh, a lot of action areas have also been uh, uh, elucidated during the course of the day's discussions and I think that's good to take it from forward from here on. The evening award ceremony was marked by the presence of the top business leaders, industry stalwarts, politicians, eminent healthcare leaders and medical professionals. And the award winners are Care World TV got an appreciation award for the media coverage in healthcare sector. This award ceremony will result in significant opportunities for pharma companies operating in India to reach out to the global and domestic market. <laughs>